Good morning, guys and gals. Welcome back to Pikmin 4. Last time, we got Ice Pikmin. Uh, what else did... Oh, we got Russell. And I haven't thought about his voice at all. Oh, great. I completely forgot about him. Wait, is it just me? Or did Ochi go through a growth spurt overnight? One, two, three... Hmm. I wonder if- <laughs> look at Jeff! I wonder if he found a... Another explorer. The ball. That's actually quite typical for his breed. It is a sign that he is now fully grown and qualified for more rigorous activity. He is now designed Whoa. to be a trampoline. The true purpose for all- Dogs. <laughs> I couldn't come up with anything. <laughs> the Pikmin sure are playful today. Yes, they appear to be letting their guard down now that Ochi has come into his own. They think he is a bulborb and are trying to murder him. Just like we all will do one day because we hate this dog. <laughs> I'm just glad to see they're getting along. <laughs> His feet make me uncomfortable. Am I allowed to be uncomfortable when it comes to his feet? Right, another benefit of Ochi being fully grown is that now he can build up his pup drive while completing missions. And with regular training sessions, he can learn new skills that will be useful in everyday rescue operations. Bye. From the looks of it, Ochi is ready as ever to fill up the pup drive. Look at those eyes. All right, officers, to your stations, please. Oh, no. Copy that. I don't know what voice Russell will have. I now call this strategy meeting into order. First things first, Russ, please update us on the improvements being made to the SS Bagel. <laughs> oh. It would be my absolute pleasure, Captain Shadow. I don't know what this is. Uh, because they are done! <laughs> the SS Beagle now has the ability to transform any raw materials collected in the field into clay! With this functionality, we should be able to easily build on location. <laughs> oh, thank goodness he's done. Excellent. Of course, I'm not quite sure what we will be building, but good work nonetheless. One last thing. Bring me raw materials, and I'll be able to whip, out, whip up exciting new gear and items for you in the lab. I have no doubt they'll be useful to you out in the field. And everyone has clicked away from this video as this crazy man is destroying his throat for content. Ow! <laughs> Sounds like we're not only collecting treasure now, but raw material too. And don't forget about our missing rescue officers. They are the most important material of all. We can make sandwiches out of them, according to Colin. By the way, come talk to me later when you have a minute. I would like to discuss Ochi's training. I hereby call this strategy meeting to a close. That means I am a closer and this is over. Copy that. So that's Russ's voice. <laughs> I hope he never speaks again. Don't forget, I need more of the turret! <laughs> I'm gonna be dead. This man is going to kill me. Um, mm, let's visit the lab first. I, I wanna look at these upgrades. Ahem, allow me to introduce myself again. You don't need to do that. I'm Russ, the resident braid of this rescue core operation. I use the raw materials you find and my handmade components to create all kinds of items and gear for use in the field. I can proudly state that all my inventions have been perfectly perfected. You can even say I have it down to a science. 
In exchange for raw material, I provide you with new gear. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, Russ. I've always appreciated your contributions to our cause. Do I have it? I have enough. Charging horn. I was wondering. I I don't want to say that the game felt missing without this feature, but in lieu of not having a Pikmin 1 and 2 C-Stick, this feature is needed. I will say that. It's also very useful for telling, like, a certain color of Pikmin to do co complete a certain task. So, I am going to upgrade this instantly. That's very useful. And that's... Oh, items. Uh, scrummy Bones! Olimar had these in the cutscene. Uh, we can heal him with them. I don't care about that. Emergency kit. I don't care about that one either. But that's... Okay, here's the thing. That... Look at the amount of damage that the Fiery Blowhog does here. I can zoom in. Oh, that's neat. That's a, that's a sizable chunk of damage. And I, I don't... I'm not going to suppose that it dealt exactsies, like it, it dealt the exact amount of HP that she had left. So that's a sizable blow, which the fact that those items are in the game and they weren't in Pikmin 2 or 3 makes me think that maybe pick, uh, uh, Captain Mortality is, is a little bit higher. Huh. I'd love to take this opportunity to teach you how to use my scientific masterpiece. I think I'm, I think the problem with this is the rasp. If I drop the rasp, I'm fine. The charging horn. It's actually quite simple. Just press Y to blow the... Or X. I can't read. To blow the horn once and order your Pikmin to charge. Achilla. If you press X once, only your selected Pikmin or Ochi will charge. But keep pressing X and the entire squad charges. As you can see, this horn is perfect for attacks or transporting objects. You could even call it Dandori Dynamite. It's alliteration. <laughs> I'm glad. Uh, that. So, uh, something you'll learn about me is I'm very good at pulling ancient references out of my hat as though they were on the tip of my tongue at any given moment. And um, that's one of them. Have fun guessing them. Uh, I don't want to explore yet. Let's talk to... Let's talk to Mitch Hedberg. Ah, there you are. Danger is a constant when exploring an unknown planet like this one. The skills I teach you and Ochi might just save you. As long as you and Ochi keep building up his pup drive, there is nothing the two of you can't do. Well, I hope you are ready, because now it is time to start your training. Sure, fine, whatever. All right, it is time to commence the training. Your journey will be a long and arduous one, but I have no doubt that you two can handle it. But if you don't, honestly, I don't really care because you are literally just a trainee and easily replaceable. I'm sure Colin would not bat an eye or shed a single tear if you were to die tomorrow. He would if he wasn't able to access your corpse, but he is kind of into that. Okay, so there's curriculum. Oh, wait. Oh, we don't need... Uh, I guess that makes sense. He doesn't need a resource to do things. He needs a pup drive. That makes more sense. Uh, go to the buff path if you want to carry heavy things. Go to the chomp path if you want to take on creatures uh, oh. in your priority. But keep proper Dandori practices in mind and think carefully about what will help you carry out your duties most efficiently. Okay. So, I'm guessing the more we use him, the better he is. And we can buff him. Make him able to carry more things. He can do more damage, as they said. He can rush. Does that just kill him instantly? Is that going to kill him? It does. Ooh, that's kind of crazy. Uh, heal. Just gives him um, health regeneration. That one might be... De that one might be fine just to sink one point into... Especially with caves being a factor. Like, the longer caves are, the better this is. Uh, go to your... Oh! Yes! Wait, I don't have a partner. I ha I only have the dog. What does the dog do? Why, why is that needed? I can't control the dog? 
So why would he need to go back to base? Oh, or to call him to me. That's neat. I think I'm just gonna get this one. Call me crazy, but this seems... This seems good. Oh, I what? I can't control the dog? Oh, yeah, yeah. Insta, insta snap. Windmill slam that. I got a scrummy born. Neat, a nice. No Going forward, every time you complete training, you will get a scrummy bone. Give it to Ochi as a reward for me. Oh, this seems like an opportune time to teach you how to use items. Click in. The, oh, hold Y and open the pack with the you with your stick. Then you you will use your stick to locate what you want to use. Do not use anything else. Only sticks are allowed. And Y buttons. All right, give me a moment, just since this episode has gone on long enough. Oh, I mean, I'm not ending the episode, but like, it's gone on long enough. I want to familiarize myself with some of these controls, so I'm not doing it when I have a timer. So give me a moment. This is what the hub world is for. And then we'll go explore. We're all set over here. The SS Bagel can take off whenever you're ready. I am ready to explore. Uchi. Which area would you like to explore? Well, I only have one option. So Sun Speckled Terrace it is. Now, as for my reasonings for the the um the option I chose for Ochi's upgrade, I think that allowing Ochi to come back from base as a command is going to be better for me in the long run than just upping his carrying capacity by two. Now, later on, when it, it's going to be going from, you know, five to ten or five to fifteen, sure, that's better. But the ability for me to set him as basically have, um, be able to get three Pikmin from the Onion constantly, uh, just by having him help carry and then come back, in the long run, I think is going to be beneficial to me. No. Come in, come in, over. As we discussed earlier, Ochi has grown a bit, so this morning I decided to drill him on his jump skill. Ochi should be able to move around more easily now, even with you and the Pikmin on board. Walk up close to Ochi and press Y to mount him. Press it again to dismount. Press X when you want Ochi to use his jump. He should have no problem clearing small ledges. If you keep holding X after you jump, you can build up his power. Hit something with a rush to launch the Pikmin from his back onto the enemy and have them... Yeah. <laughs> You said jump will give you access to more search areas, and a good rush can be a game-changing move in a battle. As, as evident before, dogs can do anything, and they are not only your best friend, but they are literally, literally the best thing this planet has to offer in terms of manpower. And this planet isn't even offering it, it is just... From whatever planet we're from. I forgot what planet we're from. I can find out, but whatever. All right, what am I doing here? Uh, I can hold a Y. That's not what I want. Uh, auto? Sure, that's what I was gonna do anyway. We can take out 30 now, thanks to having gotten the, uh, the, not, the Flarlick. That's what it's called, the Flarlick. Uh, so we can press Y to mount him, meaning we can cross this. I might do that. I might do that. Let's look at our map. Training is, or not training, planning is back. Ah, there, there's the go here mechanic. Neat. Uh, let's see. So, we started to do this yesterday, and maybe, I think we're gonna clean this up. This area has more stuff to offer, so I think we're gonna go here. Yeah, we're gonna go here. And thankfully, I can use the look this way mechanic and get a bear, uh, easy bearing. Sweet. Yeah, we, there's a lot for us to do up there. We started yesterday, and I would be remiss if we didn't complete it today. 
soon. Soon we'll have yellow Pikmin. Uh, maybe this episode. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, that said, Pikmin is absolutely no stranger to giving us, um... Ah! Nope! Die. It, um, it is absolutely no stranger to giving us, uh, electric gates and then not using them for, or, um, kind of like planting that seed, that Chekhov's gun. I should have gone the other way. Oh, well. Oh, hi! Mount. Let's give this mechanic a try. Hold X. Die! Sweet. That was easy. And we still can't grow... Uh, how do I do that? I want to... How do I... I do this. There! Exactly ten. I still can't get that. That also is going to need yellow Pikmin. So I have one Pikmin... Oh, wait, wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Dog, send, Pikmin, go. Should, seven? Yes, perfect. That's why I got the upgrade. I think it makes sense. I think it makes total sense. Yeah, so we're, at this point, we're just kind of trying to open the area up. We can go other, other places, but the places that we've gone so far have more more meat on them. There's more meat on these bones. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Good job. Good job pulling the potted plant out of the pot. That pot has definitely not been here for an eon. That's, um, kind of suspicious. Makes me think that maybe there's somebody planting these. Who could it be? Uh, let's, yeah, let's open this up. Pikmin? Don't get... Ah! I'm going to ignore that all of that just happened. I have full control of the camera, so if, if anything like that happens, it is my fault. And now, I can hold Y. Uh, actually, let's see where he is first. That's not the, the map button. I'm used to Tears of the Kingdom. They're almost there. Once they're there, then I can just call them back, and then we're hunky-dory. Uh, there's the ball over there, which I can't do anything about. Um... Maybe we just cleared... Oh, wait, 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 there's that, there's that. The the binoculars, which I'm not sure if I'll be able to get. Hi, buddy. And, oh, and also the bag. That's gonna be really helpful. I need to get... Oh, and a cave! Huh. Huh. A cave. You guys get on that. Ochi should be... I keep doing that. Ochi should be... Yeah, Ochi's done. Now we can... Command? Get over here. Neat. Now, maybe there's... The tutorial did show... Oh, I can't get Ochi on that. Oh, wait, but I have these guys. One, two, three. Have the rest of you focus on that. Hello, dog. Go on. Dig. Hot diggity dog. Oh, that was quick. And we have a cave. Yes. Okay, that that's going to be our... Our, um... Our thing for the day. That's what we're going to work on. What happens if the cave exit is covered as well? I mean, maybe it probably just will never be, but yeah, you gotta wonder that. I suppose uh, that's gonna be a little bit weird. I do have the, I do have the plastic. Um, I'm working on the plastic right now, and I only have one on that. That's in water. Have some log pulls over there, and and a cave. Let's let's check our map real quick. I noticed you looking at the radar map just now. Why don't I tell you about a handy little function it has? Honey. The system will mark un uh, discovered caves and cleared areas with either a down arrow or transfer arrows. If you go to that spot, the symbol disappears. It's a very useful way to keep track of your objectives. Mm. This probably leads here. This is the ball. That's the the watch. So I'm gonna go up here. We're gonna we're gonna knock out you. We're gonna knock out the um, the plastic, which I still forget what it's called. And then we're gonna go into a cave and, and see where that that takes us. I can swim. I can jump ledges. That ability has been given to me. But I'm going for 100%. I'm going for all of the sparkly I'm in the game. And oh. I believe we can turn this into this partial construction into a vital asset. 
We'll produce raw materials into clay at the SSB bagel and use it as a building material to finish this structure. These raw materials are not only valuable when brilliant minds give them to higher purpose, after all. Once you're at a construction site, simply direct your Pikmin and Ochi to start building. I would like to talk about that since I just got hurt. Oh, what? Drugs? Drugs! That's the first thought inclination I have when I find a giant red liquid on the ground. Huh, huh look at that red nectar. I wonder. Ultra spicy spray. A spray consisting of red nectar infused with ultra spicy compounds. Side effects still unknown. I wonder if I can use those on captains in this game. I believe this is what that ultra spicy nectar that was mentioned in the voyage log. Keep in mind that is, or keep that bo that sample sealed up in a bottle so it won't spill in your pack. There's a decent amount of ultra spicy essence there. It should be useful. I wonder if that's scripted or not. How do I? Ah! Okay. Let's get them on that. Um, dog. I don't, I really don't want to set you on the plastic that we found over there, but I might do that. It seems really dumb, but... I don't think that, this doesn't feel faster. It seems dumb, but... Uh, boom. Bang. I would also like to build these as quickly as possible. But uh, what I was saying, uh, that that is kind of a segue into one of the things I wanted to talk about. We haven't had a, a Pikmin die yet. So I want to see how long that lasts. I'm... I'm not very confident. But... If I'm uber careful from here on out, maybe... 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 No Pikmin are going to die. <laughs> I realize how poorly this comment will age. But maybe. Also, this is the worst Pikmin management in the history of anything. Because I'm doing literal nothing while watching my squad do all of this. They're probably going to end at the bridge. So I should at least be there so I can drop down and throw them onto the other plastic. I also don't think I have enough. But I will. I think I will. We're gonna, we're gonna find out. We're getting really close. It's interesting how they're doing, how they're doing this. Like, uh, a lot, how giving us other resources to collect that give us progression in other regards. Like, the, the upgrade paths, I guess, are so diverse. Because we have the plastic that can give upgrades, but it can also help us traverse bridges. So we might not want to progress in an area and because we're saving up for a specific upgrade that's going to be even better. That's such a weird parallel, and I, it's going to take me a, a while to get used to. And then, of course, we have the dog points, the, the pupper points. There's just a lot of going on. Or, or there's a lot going on. And none of it is, like, bad, mind you. But it's, it's very weird. I'm not used to it. All right, you guys do that. I'm gonna go back up this bridge. Uh, let's command Pupper to come back to me. He didn't have plastic. I don't think he did. Come on, buddy. I'm certain you can find your way. I'm not going to help you. And then, bleh. no one to blame but myself. Cool. I love the sound this makes when I'm walking across it. Uh oh. Is this the tr is this a lead up to a boss? This really feels like the lead up to a boss. Am I crazy? I'm not ready for a boss. Or maybe it's a lead up to like maybe it's a lead up to Huh. I wonder if it's a lead up to yellow Pikmin. I kind of want to go into the cave first. But maybe I don't know if we can up. Oh, I, for a second, I almost lost my mind. I thought that there was water here. I just fell into a, a vat of water. All right, other Pikmin, did you guys stay at base or did you come back here? I think they, they went to base. All right, not too bad. 
Um, not the end of the world. I'll go back to base, grab my Pikmin, and then I think we'll go that way. I think we'll go that way just because I want to see what happens when we go into a cave when it's near the end of the day. Is it going to cap me? Is it going to wrap around to the next day? Is it going to instantly end the day? Is that red swath just a time period where I, it won't let me enter caves? I don't know. We're going to find out. For science, for science and me learning more about a game that so far, the reviews of this game have been phenomenal. Like, every single review channel has either given it like a 10 out of 10 or a 9 out of 10. And that's great to see for Pikmin. It's a fantastic time to be a Pikmin fan right now. And I, I'm i looking forward to it. I, I don't, I mean, obviously, it, it's too early for me to have any criticisms. Obviously, I, I'm kind of memeing on the dog. If anyone in the comments, I know a couple people in the comments have been like, man, he really hates the dog. It's, it's not a true hatred. It's just, it's a little bit of a, the, old, the classic old man yelling at the sky. I... I'm fine with the dog. I'm ready to accept the dog. I just, it's weird to me as a hardcore Pikmin fan who, you know, walked uphill both ways to, oh, they're just singing, to come to grips with the fact that this dog is so crazy and makes so many things trivial. Map. He's not back yet. I really needed him. Um, I guess we'll let's explore over here first. Is he already coming back? I think he is. We can drop down here behind the gate, mind you. In fact, I think we... I think we do that. I think we do that. Yes, it's going to take a long time. But I think it's worth throwing two Pikmin at that. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. That... I'm not, I'm not going to do that now. I'm not going to do that now. No, 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 no. That... That I'm going to have to save for another time. There's... T I already kind of have an idea... This world is very big. Have place enough. Thank you, speak the Hungarian rapper. But I have a, I have a directive. I'm going to follow it as to make this episode somewhat enjoyable to watch and have us have an objective to complete. Because right now, I'm kind of spinning my wheels. I'm kind of stopping and smelling the roses. And we need to get something done this episode, right? And that something is going up this hill, riding our dog, our, our, po our, uh, our pick pooch, riding the pick pooch, Listening to the really satisfying terracotta sounds. I don't know why terracotta is such a satisfying noise. It's that little like plinking. I've always I've always liked that, even since I was a kid. It's probably honestly the Pikmin in me. I I first got Pikmin 2 when I was eight years old. On my eighth birthday, I had seen it in a in a uh I I had seen Pikmin 2 in a blockbuster. And I had commented, I'm like, man, that looks dumb. I'm such a adult right now. And and then I, I end up getting it for my birthday and my eighth birthday. And it ended up being my favorite game. My second favorite game of all time. You know what? I like this cave more. This cave's cooler. We're going inside it. I found a hole that should lead to the top of the mountain, but the inside was w more convoluted than expected. And only now do I see a light at the end of the tunnel. If I ever make it out of this place, I'll deserve a good rest. Oh yeah, also we can just call our Pikmin back, so all of that was completely unneeded. Oh, I see a spider web. That's upsetting. Yeah, let's go inside. Full crew of 30 Pikmin. Oh boy. Oh boy, maybe I... There is a world where I should have upgraded a different aspect of of the dog. Um, I might get yelled at in the comments about it, and I think I probably deserve it if I did.